so the rest of the money that I have should be a hundred dollars if it's not then I made a mistake so it should be a hundred dollars that I'm budgeting fifty dollars each for Foxy Bingo and Save so 20 40 60 80 100 10 20 how do I have twenty dollars extra 20 40 60 80 100 so hmm and plus, this was supposed to be two 20s, a 10, and two 20s, and five. <sighs> okay, so I have a problem here. I mean, I don't have a problem problem, but I have 25 extra dollars. Um... everyone this is your girl foxy brown and i am back once again from the legendary house of shay if this is your first time to my channel i'd like to ask you to kindly like comment and subscribe if you are one of my legendary children one of my budgeting besties or one of my budgeting nieces or nephews i'd like to say welcome home guys okay so today i am doing my cash stuffing of my cash envelopes and my sinking funds and also later for my challenge five thousand dollar and dollar day challenges from my paycheck number one of february 2021 okay guys so uh you know, there's been a lot going on this past week, so I am just a little behind the eight ball, but I'm getting there. So I'm going to, I just brought this out for you to give you the beginning, the feels, the aesthetics and, and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring out the cash tray, and then we're gonna go ahead and start to stuff our envelopes, okay? Thank you guys, hold on. Okay guys, so I am going to go ahead and start to stuff the money. Here is my teller slip. This isn't really my teller slip. I, do you know the teller kept my teller slip this time? I went to go look inside and it was gone, so she kept it. But this is what we're stuffing, $1,151. So we're just going to make sure that that money is all here. Boy, that was a lot. Okay, Ooh, we gotta make sure we get our hundreds out of there, definitely. Okay, I have a lot of coins in here for my coin challenge, which I'm going to do at the end of the month. Remember, I pledged, I won't, it won't be months this time. So I have my dollars together, the $5, and also the coins. So we're gonna definitely do that. Okay, now let's see, we are going to, Start off with our hundreds. <laughs> the coins fell. Okay, so let's see. We have one, two, three hundred in our one in our hundreds. We have fifty, one hundred, fifty two, fifty three, three hundred and fifty in our fifties. Okay, in our 20s, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80. 380 in our 20s. Okay, in our 10s, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in our 10s. In our fives, we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 
And in our ones, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and that comes up to, can you see that there? I don't know where I'm going. Okay, 1,151. All right. This thing is going to the left. Okay, so we have all of our money, which is good. I don't, I'm just gonna put this here this time because sometimes it's hard to reach over there. Um, since I only have five slots and I have six, I'll turn it this way though, and I have six different denominations, but it's okay. Uh, we have tens. So I hope you guys are all doing well. We are, I'm doing this, this video late. Um, we had snowstorm last week. We had another, um, we had snow again yesterday. It was pretty heavy, but I looked out this morning. The HOA people came out early and um, last night and this morning. So we are better. Last week, it was horrible. I had to call them. They had us blocked in. It was, I mean, I understand it was a really bad storm, but you know, it was bad. It was really bad. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead. Here's my wallet. Are the envelopes in there? Yeah. Okay, so let's see, hopefully could see here okay we're gonna start off with our groceries let me pull up sorry let me pull up my uh, little cheat sheet here I uh, try to do this so it would be a little less crazy for me okay guys so I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing my cash envelopes uh, we're going to start with groceries. Groceries is going to get a 50 this time. Uh, we had, we're pretty well stocked up on our groceries, so we maybe just need some like produce and things like that. So we got 50 there. Uh, our household, $15. We stocked up on some stuff last time, paper products and things like that. So I'll just put 15 in there, which is our normal amount. Um, gas. Um, actually, I don't need any gas, so we're not going to fund gas. Car wash. I didn't go to the car wash yet because of the snow, and then I was going to go Saturday, but then, you know, they said it was going to snow yesterday, which it did, so I'm not going to. Um, I still have the car wash money. Uh, for my money, Foxy, I get $25. And I used up my money. And my daughter Gigi, she gets $20. And I think she's gonna take this money this week. I'm sorry, she had 40, so she's got now 20, 40, 60. Okay. Coco, um, okay, so Coco had $20 in there. Um, and then, let's see, she had $20, and then I was gonna add another $10 to hers. I think that's what it was, I can't remember. I hope that's right. Um, but her 20 has to go back to the bank, so I'm just gonna put it in here for now. If ten dollars, if I'm ten dollars off, that's the reason why. Because I'm looking at this and it doesn't. Um, right. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the wrong thing. She's supposed to get ten, and I have her other money as going to the bank. Right. Okay. Cool. Alrighty. So beauty um, is getting twenty dollars. I already had, sorry about that. I had 40, so 20, 40, 60 for beauty. And I think we're gonna use some of that up. Miscellaneous uh, gets a 25. And miscellaneous this time, we are not using miscellaneous for Sushi Saturday. I just can't do it. But 
What I also did was try to be realistic with myself. And I budgeted $40 for, for sushi. <laughs> sushi too. Wednesday. Boy, see that? That's telling you right now. Saturday. Because I've been used doing it every day. All right. And then that's my bet back to the bank. So, okay. So, those are our cash envelopes. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and put this back into our wallet. Okay. I got some receipts in there, too. All righty. So, that's done. Our cash envelopes are done. And now we're going to go on to our mini sinking funds. So let me move my cheat sheet up. Okay. So with our first category, which is gifts, gifts is going to get 20. I said I was going to open these up before I started. So gifts is going to get 20. So now gifts has 20, 40, 60, 80. Our goal for gifts is 200. So we need another 120. And uh, we have six more paydays to reach that goal on April 29th. Okay, Miss Coco, she just went to the groomer. So um, this is the mini sinking funds are ones that are revolving. So we are going to, she's going to go back to starting all over again and then we're going to put $30 in okay so she had nothing in there before so now she has 30 her goal is 90 we need 60 more dollars to reach her goal and we need two more paychecks to reach that goal on March the 4th and then by that time it'll be time for her to go back to the groomer again okay the water bill now the water bill I need a little explanation on that. I thought originally that the water bill was, um, I think I thought it was due the same time as the sewer bill. Um, and they are a month different, but they are quarterly bills. So because I listened to Cassie J Budgets, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pay this bill off for the year, which is the same thing uh, with the sewer. So I had... Uh, 70, I had $80, right? I had $80 in here. And then um, I found out that that bill, the total for that bill <clears throat> uh, for the year is $170, right? Mm, I think that's right. 170 right? So I need to deposit $90. Right, so I need to deposit, I'm looking right at it, $90 and then, no, let me tell you guys, I know I have, okay, I paid the water bill. I paid one month of the water bill. I'm so sorry. Um, hold on, I should just look at my. Right, okay, sorry, that's what happened. I paid, it was, the sewer bill for the year is a little off. It's, it starts on February, but the water bill was actually one for January. So I paid the January bill and then the balance was $170, really $168. So um, what I decided to do was instead of just going little by little, uh, fund the whole thing and pay the bill off for the year. So that's why today I need to put in $90. So oh boy, what an explanation. Okay. This is what happens, you know, like guys, I don't know if you, if you notice most of us, uh, you know, this isn't stuff that, you know, I'm not sitting here trying to prepare what I'm going to say. I'm really, when I say winging it, I'm winging it. So, I mean, I know what's going on partially, but um, so sometimes it just, it just doesn't come out right. Okay, so we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Okay, so um, I'm really happy about this because in that way, these, these are two bills, the water and the sewer bill, 
I won't have to worry about for the rest of the year. I don't have to worry about, oh my God, which one, you know, which, which one's the quarter end and start. So that's pretty cool. So that's a goal that I'm going to try to reach um, for next year as well. You know, let's get those bills that I can pay like that out of the way. Okay, so now this is my favorite one. This is Nana Love. So Nana's a birthday is actually tomorrow and uh nana we nana loves uh goal is 340 dollars so we're going to put a hundred dollars in here and then nana will now have one two three hundred and forty dollars which was what we wanted for her birthday so nana love is done so I'm really happy about that. Okay, so, um, and then Nana Love is gonna start all over again. Next, for next pay period, we're gonna start preparing for Mother's Day. Okay, and the holidays uh, is $66, so 50, 65, oops, sorry, and a one. And the goal for uh, holidays, which was just for like holiday decorations or holiday or food or something like that for whatever holidays coming up. The goal was for to be $200. So we should have reached that today. So let's count it. 150, 60, can you guys see? 50, 150, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, four, five, and then five is 200. I was worried there for a second. Okay, so this goal has also been met. Um, I'll see what we're going to do um, as far as Valentine's Day, because that's the next holiday. Um, and we'll see, um, maybe just use some of it for dinner for my daughter and I. And um, We'll just see what we're gonna do with that, okay? So I'm so happy. So we had actually three goals that were met, which was the water bill, Nana Love, and holidays. Um, gifts and Miss Coco are still uh, pending, okay? So that's that. The next, uh, we're gonna go to our car, I'm sorry, our major sinking funds, which are the ones that are not necessarily bigger, they just, some of them are, excuse me, they are bills that, you know, we're looking to, they're, they're not revolving. There's just, that's it. Now the water and the sewer bill really kind of turned into a major fund because originally I was just going to keep revolving every quarter, but since we decided to get it out for the whole year, it, it turned out to be something different. Okay, so car maintenance. We're going to take get a 50. Uh, car maintenance, the uh, goal is $500. Uh, we now have 150. We need $350 to reach that goal. The goal date is May the 17th. So we need seven more pay periods to reach that goal. Okay. Excuse me, next is car registration. Car registration is $190. We are going to add $19. You know, we kind of broke that up into 10. One, two, three, four, that's four, yep. So now car maintenance has, we started off with $38 for car maintenance. So now we have 10. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. We have $57 in car maintenance. I'm sorry, car registration. So that goal, we need $133 to reach this goal. And the goal date is May 13th. We need seven more pay periods, but this will not be due until December. So it's good to have, you know, little nagging things like this out of the way because what usually happens to me, I will wait and wait and wait, not listen to my mom and wait. And then next thing you know, it's like, oh, 
I got to kick out 200 bucks. And then, you know, you know, you hate to do that, you know, but you know, you have to, cause you know, otherwise you're going to get in trouble. Okay. So house projects right now, house projects is going to be get 100 and $90. And then two twenties. Okay, house project. Let's see. Then we're gonna count that up. That's kind of growing. It's kind of getting there. We're gonna. Oh, I want to use this for a project. So anyway, so right now, house projects has one hundred, two, three, four, five, six hundred, seven. 800, 820, 40, 60, 80. So $880 in our house projects, which is kind of getting there. The goal for house projects is $2,400. Uh, we now have 880. We need 1,120 to reach our goal. The goal date is May 27th, and we have eight more paychecks to reach that goal. I don't know if it's going to stay at 190. I'm not sure about that part, but that's how, you know, that's how that's when our goal, we'd like to reach that goal. Okay, so my daughter Genesis is the last major sinking fund and she is going to get her usual 100. So Genesis has now 100. These are so crispy. Ah, 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one thousand. Why did I kind of like that? Oh gosh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, one, two, three. So she's got. 1300 in her fund here. Um, the goal for this is $5,000. Um, she has now 1300. We need 3700 more to reach that goal. And this goal, we are, our goal date is June 6th, 2022. So we have 34 paychecks left to reach that goal. So those guys are our major sinking funds. So we got the mini, the minis, the majors, and now we are going to do put the money in for our challenges. This is going to be week six and seven, right? Yeah. Week six and seven for our challenges. And the first one we have is the $5,000 challenge. Well, I'm sorry, the money doesn't go in here. This is where we keep the money. Oop, wrong binder. It has to be in this. This, this is the, mind, the binder with the, you know, things that are waiting to, uh, money that's waiting to be spent. Okay, so even though it's not gonna, it's not really part two, I'm gonna put both of them in there because I haven't done that video yet. So we're gonna have a 50 for week six. And then it's 75 for week seven of that challenge. So I'm going to put those both in here. And then for dollar a day, you know, we have the 20, the five, three ones. Do I have a missing one? One, two, three. Uh-oh, I think I'm missing a one. Okay, so it's 28. Oh, and also, I already did my Foxy Bingo and on my Saveopoly. So I already used that money, and I think maybe I used an extra dollar from there. Maybe. Okay, we'll see. Because, let's see, we have another 20. Another five. And then, so we only have $27 here. So we are a dollar short. I don't know how that 
happened, but at least it's just a dollar, right? So, and then 25. Okay. And then, is there dollars in there? Just making sure. Okay, so the rest of the money that I have should be a hundred dollars. If it's not, then I made a mistake. So it should be a hundred dollars that I'm budgeting fifty dollars each for Foxy Bingo and Save So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20. How do I have twenty dollars extra? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, hmm. and plus, this was supposed to be two 20s, a 10, and two 20s, and five. <sighs> okay, so I have a problem here. I mean, I don't have a problem, problem, but I have 25 extra dollars. Um... Okay, you guys. You can clearly see here that I put in $45 for the Foxy Bingo instead of $50. So that's the $5 that I'm missing. And while I'm sitting here thinking, I really believe that other $20 has to do with Coco, the extra $20 that I have, uh, because I bought her food and I just think I took the money out and uh, when I used it and put it in the wrong envelope because I used my credit card for it. So I think that solves the mystery of my extra $25. Thank you. So I will let you guys know where that $25 is supposed to go. And $25. Was it? I know I was going to start that other challenge, but I don't think that's it. I don't. I don't. Um, but while I'm on here, I'm just going to go and look at something really quickly. I must have borrowed the money for when I did Foxy Savopoli or um, Foxy Bingo on, on my $25, which is now going to bother me for the rest of the day, right? It is. All right, guys. So thank you very much for watching and I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't, please like, comment and subscribe. I mean, I'm, I know it seems like I'm a mess, but you know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm hanging in there and I'm doing the best that I can. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Peace and blessings because I got to do the challenges. All right, bye.